Brody Bocci, St. Peter Vincek, they do need to win the event. James Dean needs to go out in the top 16. Frederick Oswell needs to go out in the grade eight for them to have a chance. And then obviously Osbo needs to finish ahead of Dean uh, by one or two spots, depending on where Dean goes out. If they go to the finals, it's going to be winner take all. Yeah, that's right. So to must win for either of these guys. And of course, you know, to, to, to finish out top three is a great success story for any of these drivers. I mean, finishing the top three with some of the best drifters in the world, that is still something to, uh, to tout. Pieter Visek will lead. He qualified seventh. Osbo qualifying 10th. And here we go. Pieter Visek, Frederick Osbo. If you can recall, if you didn't watch it, I'll remind you, Texas. Pieter Visek in the chase position gets into Osbo, and they go into that tire wall. And here we go. Pieter Visek initiates. Frederick Osbo right there in that Rockstar energy drink. Next to tire, Toyota racing Toyota Corolla. Pieter Visek coming down on the bank into that inside front clip. Osbo a little bit off now into that second outer zone. Peter Visek and Osbo, Poland versus Norway. Now coming through that second outside zone, tightened up to the front clip, now to the outside zone. Pieter gets all the way out there, Osbo does not. This is a dogfight. Make some noise, Irwindale. Okay, that was awesome. Look at Osbo pacing him down the back straight. Initiates right with them there. They get both get into the bank. A little bit of a flub and a mistake from Peter. Right after he initiated, Osbo keeping it tight here, not letting Visek get away. Osbo just a little bit down on that inside clip. Now coming up on the inside, Visek deep into this second outside zone. Here comes Osbo closing the door. Visek pulls off that outside zone at the right time, but Osbo follows him all the way through and pretty much matches him perfectly. A yeah. great job there by both competitors. Just that one little mistake from Visek after he initiated, lost a little bit of angle there for a second, but both drivers have some areas where they can improve on the next run, and that means that those spotters can be talking to the, their drivers saying, hey, this is how you might be able to take him out, force him one more time. There's a lot of possibilities here as, as Frederick Osbo will now take the lead against Peter Visek. You gotta think redemption in Osbo's mind. Peter Visek, you know, he, he's having fun. He it's kind of a win-win for him. If he wins, it's cool. He, you know, if he loses, it's like, I'm gonna cheer for my boy James. You know, but he's won here before. Osbo, redemption. Not only just the last event in Texas, but last year, Von Kitten Jr. and him. So just, you, you can see in his signature helmet, he's been rocking that Bandit Simpson since he was a kid. And he's posted up some tremendous photos of him as a kid driving Volvos and driving ridiculous cars on the ice. But uh, here he is, you know, he's, he's touted by Rockstar Energy Drink, Toyota Racing, Nexon Tires, all of his partners. And uh, you know what? It, it, couldn't be happy for him. He's traveled the world. And Peter Visek, you know, an introduction for him three years ago. And here he is. You know, when, when you're a team owner, you know, the word house thing, and you kind of throw your arm around one of the best drifters in the world, James Dean, you think like, oh, cool, this kid's, you know, he's okay. This No, he is competitive. He, he's not just kind of funding the program. He is definitely a competitor, a champion, a contender for the championship. Frederick Osbo, Peter Visek right there. Look at Peter Visek trying to the Falcon tires in the door of that Toyota Corolla hatchback. Transitioning now to that second outer zone. How are they gonna handle it? Into the second outer zone. Peter Visek rubs into the door of that Toyota Corolla. Visek makes his presence felt. The Candyman dropping some sweetness on the side of that Corolla. Make some noise, Irwindale. Woo! Entertainment on wow. hand here. As Osbo down. Drops down, Visek diving right in. Osbo on a little bit of a higher line here, a little bit more angle than Visek. So, but Visek used that to gain proximity on the big bank. Osbo had a bit of a higher line and a bit more angle. However, down here, this is where Visek matches him, gets right in the door against Frederick Osbo, taps him. Now moving around that final inside clip, Osbo hits it and Visek is right there. An unbelievable battle. And just to preface this, Jared, obviously Osbo, is going for the championship. If he loses here, he would not obviously he would obviously not win the championship, but it will not automatically go to James Dean right. because Visek and oh. and Bocci still have a chance. I love the side by side. This really just shows, you know, lead versus lead, chase versus chase. There's that mistake. You're just pointing that out, Ryan, with Peter Visek. But look at that chase run. He's a little lower, but just with that proximity, it just looks a little more dominant. Well, Visek is a little bit more wiry, but he had a bit more proximity in certain areas. Osbo is a little bit more consistent, 
but didn't necessarily have the degree of proximity that Visek had. This is a really close wow. battle, and the judges are really going to be scrutinizing what the priority and the preference is, is here between the, the uh, degree of proximity, the duration of proximity, and also uh, the mistakes that were made. And, and remember, this is what oh. happened in Texas. This, Boom. this is what prohibited uh, Frederick Osbo from really having that 100% ready car to face James Dean. And uh, James Dean actually was not able to get it done against Chelsea Denofa. And uh, that was kind of a saving grace in terms yeah. of keeping the point spread a little bit closer. But Visek did take out uh, Frederick Osbo there. Visek ended up getting the loss. But nonetheless, it is what has created the situation that we are in right now as we <laughs> await the <laughs> results. Oh, doctor. You know, it's just uh, that that warrants that. It's just it's just just amazing. Oh, we're here. What are you guys saying? I can't hear you out there. I can't hear you. What are you saying? All right, slide him left for Osbo, right for Peter Visek. Keep him in the middle for one more time, and Peter Visek gets the win. Peter Ryan, Osbo's championship hopes. Yeah. Pretty, mu pretty much out the window, Lantain. Going to you. Yeah, all three of us agreed on that one clearly, and it came down to Osbo in the chase made some key errors in his chase run. He was not as accurate as the lead driver was, so he wasn't following the lead driver's line as well as we'd like to see him do so. He was off of inside clip number one, and he was also off on uh, the early part of outside zone number two. And we just felt that Piotr did a better job in the lead as well, going deeper in outside zone one and two. And uh, Piotr's chase, he was much more aggressive. He was closer to Osbo, put on a lot more pressure, and uh, although he it fluctuated a little bit in terms of the proximity, I think overall he was a lot closer through the majority of the run, which is what we tell the drivers to do. Yeah, that I mean, uh, yeah, just an unbelievable effort there. There.